Hi everybody! In this video, we're going to learn how to find the tangent plane to the surface at the given point. For these type of questions, our toolbox has equation of tangent plane, which is partial f at the given point times x minus x naught plus partial y at the given point times y minus y naught plus partial z at the given point times z minus z naught equals to zero. The given point, the x component will be our x naught, y component will be our y naught, and z component will be our z naught. Our plan is to find f, fx, which is partial x, and plug in point, fy, which is partial y, plug in point, partial z, we're going to plug in point, and we're going to put together all ingredients in the tangent plane equation. Let's begin with our model question. So we were given the surface z equals to x cubed minus 2xy plus y cubed. Let's a little bit rearrange this equation. Let's make everything equal to zero. So x cubed minus 2xy plus y cubed minus z equals to zero. If we subtract z from both sides, we get this equation. Now we're going to work on this equation. So we need to find fx, which is our partial x. So derivative of x is 3x squared minus, so we're going to treat y and z as our constant because we are taking derivative with respect to x. So here our y is constant and derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. So we are left by negative 2y and y cubed is 0, z is 0 because we are taking derivative with respect to x. So this is our fx. Let's go to find fy. Now we are going to differentiate the equation with respect to y. So x cubed is 0 because we're going to treat x and z as our constants. So here uh, y is derivative of y is 1 and negative 2x is our constant so negative 2x plus derivative of y cubed is 3y squared and z will be 0. And our fz which is our partial z, will be x component will be treated as 0, 0, 0, so it's going to be negative 1. Derivative of negative z is negative 1. Now we're going to find partial f at the given point. So fx, the given point 1, negative 1, 2, will be 3 times this is our x component, 1 squared minus 2 times, this is our y component, negative y. So it's going to be 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. So fx at the given point is 5. Let's go to find fy at the given point. So 1, negative 1, 2. So negative 2 times, this is our x component, 1, plus 3 times, this is our y component, negative 1, squared. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, 1 squared is positive 1 times 3 is 3, so this is going to be 1. And this is our partial y at the given point. And fz is negative 1. Let me show it. fz at 1, negative 1, 2 is still negative 1 because we have no variable here. So our ingredients are ready. Let's put everything together. 
So our formula is fx at the given point, which is x0, y0, z0, times x minus x0 plus partial y at the given point x0, y0, z0 times y minus y0 plus partial z at the given point x0, y0, z0 times z minus z0 equals to 0. Here our partial f at the given point is 5 and x is our x. Our x0 is the given point x component negative 1 plus our partial y is 1 at the given point y minus our y0 is negative 1 y minus minus 1 will be y plus 1 and plus partial z is negative 1 plus negative 1 you can directly write negative 1 times z minus z0 z z0 is negative 2 z minus 2 equals to 0 so let's a little bit rearrange this So our equation becomes 5 times x minus 1 plus 1 times y, y plus 1 minus 1 times z minus 2 equals to 0. So we need to distribute here 5 times x is 5x minus 5 plus 1 times y plus 1 is itself minus 1 times z is negative z plus negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2 equals to 0. Now we're going to a little bit simplify 5x plus y minus z and the numbers will be negative 2 equals to 0 and we need to write it in the plane equation yx plus y minus z equals to 2. So this is the equation of the tangent plane we need. So this is our tangent plane equation. At the given point 1, negative 1, 2. And I have graphed it using graphing calculator. So this is our plane, equation of the plane. This is our point 1, negative 1, 2. And this green is our curve, which is z equals to x cubed minus 2xy plus y cubed and another view from the top from the z point is like this again this is our equation of tangent plane that we found this is our given curve And this is our point 1, negative 1, 2. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.